Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie back today with another beer review. And what I am looking at is Schlitz. I cannot get this beer in my area, so thanks again to Ron Terrio for providing me with this 16-ounce can of Schlitz. Um, so this beer was originally introduced in 1849. This particular recipe was introduced in 2007. If you recall, uh, a few years back they had the Schlitz and then the Schlitz Gusto, which was supposed to be uh, like the original formula, kind of brought back because there was this whole thing back in the day where there were all kinds of issues with Schlitz. The popularity really declined, and then, anyway, if you want to know more about that, check out uh, Ronald Terrio of Louisiana Beer Review's review of this version of Schlitz. He, um, he gives a great breakdown of the history and all of that, but anyway, Schlitz went through some really tough times, um, you know, not too long ago with their recipe. They changed it. It didn't work out well. Uh, they lost the original recipe, then they tried, to, I mean, it, it was, a uh, quite the ordeal. Um, but anyway, this product is a Pabst brand, um, it's 4.6%, this version is 4.6% alcohol, which is the only version that you can get now, so just good old Schlitz. Uh, I had never had this beer before, um, this is my second or third can of it in my lifetime. So I'm going to crack this thing open and give it a pour. And while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of the awards that it's won. Actually, it's won, let's see, three awards uh, at the Great American Beer Festival over the years. In 1992, it won a gold medal for American Lager. In 1998, it won a bronze medal for American Style Lager. And in 2004, it won another bronze medal for American Style Lager. And it did not win anything at the World Beer Cup. However, the Schlitz Malt Liquor Line has won many, many awards uh, at both the Great American Beer Festival and World Beer Cup throughout the years. So this beer poured really nicely. A nice golden color, uh, pretty thin head. However, that is because, uh, well, probably because of the glassware that I'm using. Uh, but I just had to pour it in my Schlitz schooner or chalice glass. And it says on the glass, the beer that made Milwaukee famous. So there's a lot of history with this beer. And uh, it's really disappointing that I cannot buy this beer in my area. And the distribution scheme for Pabst in general for all of their products, for a lot of their products, is very sketchy at best. Let me give you an example. Country Club Malt Liquor. I've been wanting to try that product for years, but I cannot find it anywhere, and the distribution is terrible. Uh, or very spotty regionally. Uh, but it's supposed to be one of the best malt liquors out there on the market. So come on, Paps, get it together. Uh, whoever's in charge of your distribution, you know, I don't know. You need to have a talk with them. So, smells really nice. Smells a little hoppy. You get that barley malt smell that you get with these types of products. Clean water, very very clean smelling. Nothing too complex on the nose. Just smells like a really good lager beer. So, cheers everybody. Let's get right into this thing. Mm. I love this beer. I love it so much. You get, you get some nice barley malt sweetness up front, followed quickly by some uh, white bread crust type breadiness in the middle of the sip with a nice hot bite at the back end, and then it drops off quickly, no lingering taste, uh, very dry finish, refreshing, um, carbonation is light to medium, so it's very refreshing in that respect as well. Uh, very, very sessionable, easy drinking, super delightful, and just, God, just great. Um, the hot presence with this one is what really 
um, separates it from other products, other macro products. It almost has a little bit of like a pale ale type thing going on with it. The hot presence on this is very nice. But it's not too hoppy because I'm not, you know, as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I am not a big hop head. I don't like overly hop beers. But when done right to balance a beer out, especially a super light and sessionable macro lager beer like this, it works really well to the advantage of the beer. And with the Schlitz, you definitely, definitely get that. The hops balance out the nice malty sweetness and the breadiness that you get in the middle of the sip. The carbonation adds to the refreshing quality of this beer along with that nice little hot bite at the end. Super, super delightful. I'm so glad I got to try this. Um, I just wish their distribution was a little bit better. Uh, I don't think they sell this product at all in the state of Georgia, period. Um, however, their malt liquor line is very popular here. I can get the Schlitz OML, uh, which or the Blue Bull, their original malt liquor, and I can get the Schlitz VSL Gold Bull, which is uh, their 8.5% high gravity malt liquor. They also make a Bull Ice and a Red Bull, uh, so Gray Bull and Red Bull, which I do not get either one of those here, but I do get two of their malt liquors, but I can't get their regular beer, so it's really kind of... Uh, I don't know. It's sad, really. This is an excellent, excellent beer. I'm going to give this a 97 out of 100. Uh, I think it is one of the better macro lagers that I've had. That nice hop bite um, on the back end is really pleasant. The carbonation is right where it needs to be, and it's got a nice bready uh, thing in the middle of the sip, along with a nice little barley malt sweetness. Um, just an excellent, excellent beer. So 97 out of 100, that'll do it for this beer review, guys, and until next time, cheers.